Are we on? Record, yeah, you're recorded. Okay, we're on. Okay, well, Shabbat Shalom, everybody. I hope there's some uh, people out there that were able to tune in um, to our Shabbat service tonight. Um, Rabbi Ina is doing quite well, um, but she is taking a well deserved. Uh, night off, especially getting ready for Passover. And uh, those of you that follow her blog know that she just started radiation treatments, but uh, everything is going really well and she's feeling really well so far. So we're really happy about that. And uh, tonight it's a little bit different. We got, you know, besides myself and Judy leading services, we're trying out a new Zoom camera in the latest technology. So um, we hope you can all see us. Uh, Please enter any notes to the chat box on Zoom if you're online. And you can also text me uh, if you have anything that you want to add, such as a name for Misha Berich or a name for Kaddish later on. Uh, my text number, my cell number is 908-305-1076. Again, 908-305-1076. Are we all good, Eric? Eric Levine is here. He's helping run this latest Zoom version. So I think we're all in good shape. So we're gonna start with a, a Hallelujah by Debbie Freeman and go to page 128 right after that with Hine Matov. Judy to come up and light the candles. And hopefully the candles are on camera. Hey, no, no, 
Shalom, Asher Kedushah, Vemitzvotah, Vetivanu, Vahalik Neir Shel Shabbat. Thank you. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam Asher Kedushanu B'mitzvotav B'tivanu Lehadlik Ner Lehadlik Ner Shel Shabbat As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, by our lives, give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light. O source of light and truth, creator of the eternal law of goodness, help us to find knowledge by which to live Lead us to take the words we shall speak into our hearts and our lives. Bless all who enter the sanctuary in need, all who bring the offerings of their hearts. May our worship lead us to acts of kindness, peace, and love. We continue on page 126. I begin with a prayer of gratitude for all that is holy in my life. God needs no words, no English or Hebrew, no semantics, and no services, but I need them. Through prayer, I can sense my inner strength, my inner purpose, my inner joy, my capacity to love. As I reach upward in prayer, I sense these qualities in my creator. To love God is to love each other, to work to make our lives better. To love God is to love the world God created and to work to perfect it. To love God is to love dreams of peace and joy that illumine all of us and to bring that vision to life. And we'll continue on page 127, but uh, Shabbat Shalom to um, Julie Margolin and Shabbat Shalom to, um, well, somebody who ends in 5712, sorry. <laughs> so, and I don't know if there's anything on the chat, but, uh, Shabbat Shalom to everybody. So uh, thank you. So, um, and um, we will continue on page 127, as I mentioned. Eric, any messages in the chat box? Okay. There are days when we seek things for ourselves and measure failure by what we do not gain. On Shabbat, we seek not to acquire, but to share. There are days when we exploit nature as if it were a horn of plenty that can never be exhausted. On Shabbat, we stand in wonder before the mystery of creation. There are days when we act as if we cared nothing for the rights of others. On Shabbat, we remember that justice is our duty and a better world our goal. So we embrace Shabbat, day of rest, day of wonder, day of peace. And we continue our service on page 138 with Lachado D.
is now here. And I think we have some more Shabbat Shalom greetings. Shabbat Shalom to Al and Harriet Shangold. We read responsibly on page 266. Yeah. 263. Oh, sorry we turn to that. page 263 and we I continue with Katsi Kaddish. Yikada, Yikada, Shame Rabba, Yama Divraki Rute, Yamik Makute, Beha Yehon, Yom Ekon, Ube Yaka call Yisrael, Bagala, Bagala, Uvisman. Vayimaru amen, Yehesh me rabba me vorak, Leome leome omaya, Yiparak, Yiparak, Vayishnabak, Vayitvahar, Vayitramam, Vayitnaseh, Vayitadar, Vayitaleh, 
age we receive and transmit Torah. At each moment we are addressed by the world. In each age we are challenged by our ancient teaching. At each moment we stand face to face with truth. In each age we add our wisdom to that which has gone before. At each moment the knowing heart is filled with wonder. In each age the children of Torah become its builders and seek to set the world firm on a foundation of truth. Baruch Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Baruch Shem. Kavod Mahuto Leolam Baed. And if you're standing, you may be seated. So we continue on page 268 with Vahafta. <laughs> Vishifta <laughs> We continue on page 269, reading responsively. We worship the power that unites the universe, a promise of harmony for all. Yet that oneness eludes our grasp as imperfection and evil abound. Before our eyes, there is a vision of perfection, order, and goodness. There is evil enough to break the heart, and there is good enough to exalt the soul. When will redemption come? When we grant everyone what we claim for ourselves. Long ago, we escaped the tyranny of Egypt. Our people saw the power, power of the Most High. We learn God's presence redeems time and event, so we celebrate this power that makes for freedom. We continue next page with me, Kamoka. <laughs> Oh, 
to hear the voice say, We continue on page 271 with Hashki Venu. The prayer for the shelter that is uh, to be covering us overnight and God's presence sheltering us. God, give us a place to rest. Shelter us in the long, soft evening shadows of your truth. You are protection and safety. In your presence, we find love and acceptance. Watch over us as we go forth. Prepare for us as we return. Spread over us your shelter of peace over all we love, over our Jerusalem and yours. We continue on uh, the next page. That's page 272 with Vishamru, and the translation is the people of Israel shall keep Shabbat, observing Shabbat throughout all the ages as a covenant for all time. It is a sign for all time between me and the people of Israel. For in six days Adonai made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day God ceased from work and was refreshed. Vishamru. Shambhu Asadonai, Asadonai, et Hashemayim ve'et Ma'aret Bishamru bene Yisrael et Hashabat Maso et Hashabat l'dorat ha'berit olam uvayom hashvi. Shava venina fash, shava venina fash, shava venina fash, shava venina fash, Let our 
sad labrinto We now transition into the uh, tefillah that begins on page 273. And please rise, and I'm going to move this microphone so that I can face the ark. So it is the appropriate thing. Adonai tzifata feta ufi agite hilatecha. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohe avoteinu vimoteinu, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivcha, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor Vahanora, El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vizocher Chazde Avot Vimamot, who may be Gula live Nevenem, Leman Shemo Biahava, Meliko Zer Moshia Magain, Baruch Adonai, Magain Abraham, Vitz Ratzara, Atagi Borle Alam Adonai, Mikhaye Hakolata, Rav Lehoshia, Mashiv Haruah, Murid Hagashem, Mikhaye Alchayim Bekeset, Mikhaye Hakol Berakamim Rabin, So make Rofim Roke Holy, Uma Tirasurim. Umakayem emunoto lishne ne afar micha mocha balburo ume do me lach melet me me to makaye umashi yushua vinemana talechon hako. You are holy, your name is holy, and those who are holy praise you every day. Blessed are you, Adonai, the Holy God. And you may be seated. We can pin you on page 278. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. And may all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may we all live in such a way that this day fulfill its promise. Baruch atah Adonai Nikadesh HaShabbat. We continue on page 282 with Shalom Rav. Shalom Rav Yisrael Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rav Yisrael Tassim Le'olam 
silently, either what's in your heart, what's in the book, or both. Continue with Misha Barak. Excuse me one sec for a sip of water. It's permissible. Thanks. How's it going out there, Eric? Okay. The, the, 
All right, all right. Mayim, good stuff. Sounds like a good idea. So we continue on page 371 with our prayer for healing, Misha Berach. Just got to get there. Misha Berak Avotenu, Vimotenu, Avraham Yitzchak Yaakov, Sarah Rivka, Rachel, Velea. <clears throat> May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and heal those who are ill. And on this Shabbat, we recall, and before again, uh, I forget to mention, uh, please text in if you have any names to 908 305 1076 or text in any names to the chat box on Zoom, and uh, Eric will read them and call them off to me. So we uh, start with Yuri Yarovsky, Meyer Eliehu, Ben Mordechai, Hannah Kornblum, Jill Ababali, Eric Schwartzman, Mark Lipovich, Kayla Segelstein, Karen Shapiro, Yitzhak Mordechai, Ben Leib, Bebela, Al Patalis, Jeffrey Child, Carmen Cervantes, Larry Riga, Miriam Bat Avraham Vidavora, Sharon Seligson, Sarah Bat Khanna, David Becker, Sarah Leah Bat Etta, Stanley Rubinstein, Diana Landau, Michael Vogel, Sarita Felder, David Horowitz, Gabby Bubrick, Steve Flashing, Jeff Lampert, Herb Dubin, Zalman Ben Clara, Nathan Goldschmidt, Lori Kortmansky, Marion Fleischner, Gene O'Connor, Jerry Friedman, Susan Litt, Joyce Seabury, Shirley Duffy, Bella Shepsman, Cedric Hill, Yosef Ben Menashe Vidavora, Shana Bat Moshe, Phyllis Feather, Leonard Feather, Shmuel Vell, Ian Astor, Dorothea Fast, Miriam Bat Ella, Sally Glick, Elizabeth Regnick Han, Josefa Tivia Botmeyer Hirsch, Jay Colson, Chaim Shmuel, Ben Danit Tova Benadar, Wendy Brenner, Stephen Brundage, Gadol Arya Ben Yitzhak, Eliezer Vimasha, Peter Samuel, Samuel Jensen, Erica Leftline, Sharon Blackman, Algenin Hill, Yisraela Bat Shimon Avram, the Yehevet Bela, Frida Greenman, Maribel Le Gelebart, Barbara Hawthorne, Hawthorne, Evelyn Weiss, Artie Butler, Bruce Harrison, Jason Apter, Ralph Cutler, Dima Litvak, Jesse Peckle, Alex Peckle, Karen Ruchel Bat, Bat Bela, Colleen Apter and Scott Horowitz, and I'll check my phone now. And Eric, can you see if there's anybody in the chat box? I don't see anybody there either, so. So we'll continue with singing Misha Barak. That can be found also again on page uh, 371.
now for a few words of uh, Torah and the upcoming holiday of Passover. So one second. It's an, oh, okay. Got, got the comments from Eric and they're, and they're good ones too. Uh, Kurt, right, right, right. So welcome back. <laughs> so uh, this um, Shabbat is Shabbat Hagadol, the great Sabbath preceding Passover. As you all know, I hope you all know that Shabbat, uh, excuse me, that Passover uh, begins tomorrow night at sundown. And the Parsha is Tzav. It's the second portion in Leviticus, the middle, the, the third book of the five books of Moses. And uh, a lot of what Leviticus does is it challenges the meaning of rituals and prescriptions and remedies, uh, these all ancient traditions, they, uh, are the ways that our, our ancestors found holiness in the community uh, to respond to God's command. So there are two themes that I think many people notice in this portion, and we'll talk about Passover a little bit later. The first is religious and spiritual leadership. So Rabbi, uh, Rabbi Devorah Weisberg writes that Tzav, Tzav invites us to consider the responsibilities of a religious leader, the support of the community might be asked to provide them, and the ways that a religious leader may be distinguished or recognized by the community. Parsha teaches us that religious leaders are called upon to assume ongoing and sometimes heavy responsibilities. God instructs Moses to command Aaron and his son regarding their duties and their rights. They're the high priests. They are the Kohanim, and they offer what was known in Hebrew or is known in Hebrew as korbanot or the animal and meal offerings in the sanctuary or in the Mishkan. And this all began during our wilderness travels and continued through ancient Judaism through the times of the temples. For leaders then and now, boundaries between private and public life is often blurred. Right, Eric? Yeah, as a leader, okay. Yeah. Tzav assumes that the community will support its priests and reminds us that religious leaders cannot succeed in isolation from their communities. They support their communities and in turn draw strength and inspiration from, from them, from the communities. Israel is called upon to be a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. The priests reflect and support that holiness of the people, but the burden and striving of the blessing for holiness can never rest just on the leaders alone. The second theme uh, in this portion deals with the rituals themselves and finding meaning in them because so many of these old sacrifices are such ancient uh, practices that we say, well, what meaning does it have today? But if you look at this metaphorically, it's very interesting. The Kohanim or priests are commanded not only to perform all the rituals, including all the ancient sacrifices, but they're also the cleanup crew as well. In Leviticus chapter six, which is right in this portion, says he, the priest, shall take off his priestly vestments and put on other vestments and carry the ashes from the sacrifices to outside the camp. In other words, they practice the sacrifice and then they clean up after themselves. No, no custodians to come in to take care of that. They're responsible themselves. So Rabbi Ben Spratt writes, we so often speak of the enormous imperatives and responsibility on us as Jews to be partners of, with God in the work of creation, pursuers of peace and justice, ushering in an age of perfection, the audacious act of grandeur are what captures headlines and headspace. 
But in our actual texts and traditions, we find far greater attention is placed on the innumerable small acts, small deeds from a place of humility. Our charge is not to change the world in one fell swoop, but to change the moment in time. Humility helps often open our eyes to grasp these moments in time, to shed our costume arrogance and to see the world through another's eyes. The small acts, these moments of shoveling ash from the sacrifices are not world shaking events, but they may be the most sacred. We live in a world with infinite need for these small acts, for individuals to open their eyes and change the moment in time. We need to overcome the pride that keeps us from repairing relationships and keeps us from finding opportunities to serve others. This Parsha reminds us that perhaps the most sacred moments for the priests existed outside the sacrificial spotlight. In donning the rags of humility, they perform small, simple acts. So too for us. And now let's talk about Passover a little bit because Passover is loaded with traditions and all kinds of things that we uh, do during the Seder. Uh, at this year, just kind of like last year, we're creating new traditions. It reminds us that the small acts to remind us how we observe this great exodus well over 3,500 years ago with our ancestors. So the Seder or the service in the meal order is loaded with details all with deep meaning, and I hope that everybody finds that starting tomorrow night at their seders, whether it's on Zoom, in person, or however it's uh, being suggested to uh, happen. So Rabbi David Lyons suggests that in addition to the four questions at the seder, which ask and answer how Passover night is different from all other nights, we might also ask how this night is not different from what it has been for all these generations. And I think that's something to keep in mind that we keep the continuity. And even though we've been through a very challenging year, uh, we need to understand that the traditions go on. They've been going on for generations and God willing, will continue for many, many generations to come. We also remind ourselves that even with the challenges and difficulties and losses over this past year from COVID, we are blessed with so many things, in addition to our personal and communal blessings, including the research that developed the vaccines, the healthcare workers, the frontline workers, all of them, everybody from law enforcement to people that uh, help administer uh, what is needed to be done to people running hospitals, finding strength from each other as we enter the season of rebirth, the season of spring. May you and your loved ones have a happy, healthy, joyous, meaningful, and sweet Pesach and Shabbat Shalom. And we are going to continue our service with Elenu, and I'll ask Judy to open the ark as I move the microphone. Please rise. Lena leshe bea la don ha call la te gudula yotse brashi shalo asano kika call ha ratzot velo samano kishmekat ha dama shalo sam kel kenu kaem vego ralenu kiko ha mona vena rim. Umishtakadim Ukmodim Lifne Melik Malchain Hamachim Hakadosh Baruchu Venemar Vehaya Adonai Lamelik Kol Haaret Bayom Hahu Bayom Hahu Yee Adonai Echad Ushamo 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 Echad
and the arc is closed, so you may be seated. We continue our service on page 593. And again, before we do the final prayers with the words of Kaddish, uh, for mourners, I just want to invite again anybody to send either in the text on Zoom or uh, my cell, 908-305, any names that you want to have added to uh, the Kaddish list. In nature's ebb and flow, God's eternal law abides. When tears dim our vision and grief clouds our understanding, we often lose sight of God's eternal plan. Yet we know that growth and decay, life and death, all reveal a divine purpose. God, who is our support in the struggles of life, is also our hope in death. We have set God before us and shall not despair. In God's hands are the souls of all living and the spirits of all flesh. Under God's protection, we abide, and by God's love, we are comforted. O oh, life of our life, soul of our soul, cause your light to shine into our hearts and fill our spirits with abiding, abiding trust in you. We think of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at this season in years past, and those whom we have drawn into our hearts. And on this Shabbat, <clears throat> we call to mind uh, yard sites of Mary Steinfeld, Anita Friedman, Rose Levine, Sarah Bloomfield, Malcolm Marks, Marsha Trayman, Samuel Moretsky, Jack Schumann, Edith Katchen, George Posner, Mimi Shuloff, Louis Zeger, Ida Posner, Iris Levine, and Jewish fallen soldier, Lieutenant Sherbon Nathan, Nathaniel Baer. And over the past year, Leonard Weinstein, Rose Regenstein, Phyllis Patashny, Louis White, Stan Samuelson, Louis Sarrell, Leonid Ludinsky, Martin Kranzbaum, Amani Kildea, Barbara Dubin, Marilyn Davidson, Samuel Sy Friedman, Joan Barron, Phyllis Vogel, Joe Underleader, Evie Solich, Barry Lakend, Rose Shapiro, Fred Furtick, Bernard Horowitz, Sandy Lyman, Sharon Koenig, Dr. Michael Raskin, Ann Guntarski, Morton Preffer, Irv Budnick, Bruce Zeidman, and in the Shoshim period, Ludmila Shaban. And bear with me one second. We have a name here, I believe, and Howard Feller as well to be included on the list. Anybody, Eric, in the chat box? Okay. So we continue with Kaddish on page 598. As we all rise as community, Yitkadal v'yitkadash shmei Raba, b'alma divra kirute yam lich machute b'chayechon v'mechon u'chaye dekol beit Yisrael v'agalav zman karim imru amen yehesh me Raba b'orach le'olam olme amaya. Barak, the Ishtabak, the Yipahar, the Yitroman, the Yitnase, the Yitadar, the Yitale, the Yitalal, Shme, the Kadasha, Berehu, the Ela, Ninko, Hirata, Bishirata, Tushbehata, the Nechamata, Dami Ram, the Alma, the Ru, Amen, Yehe, Shlama, Raba, Min Shamaya, the Chaim, Alenu, the Aho, Yisrael, the Imaru, Amen. O se shalom bimromav, hu ya se shalom, alenu v'yacho Yisrael, v'yimaru, amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us, to all Israel, and of course to the whole world, to which we say, amen. Well, 
We're going to do announcements after we do a, a kiddush and the motzi. So, is uh, Eric? Are you going to come up and do them? Yeah, come on up. Okay, but you know we'll do that and just go around that way. So, got a lot of wires up here, and again, I hope uh, this uh, Zoom that we're doing is coming off okay. You're able to see and hear everything. Um, just so you know, ultimately, this is not going to be the setup. We will have the microphones on the podiums plugged in. We'll have uh, presumably a couple of different camera angles so that you can see close up and a distance picture from the sanctuary. And uh, things will see much more the way things normally run here in Temple Shalom Sanctuary. So with that said, we're going to do a quick kiddush and motzi. The short one. Baruch atah anai Eloheinu melech alam borei peri hagafem. Amen. Looking forward to that Passover wine starting tomorrow night. Uh, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm a big fan of Manischewitz Concord grape. I see that Eric is. I don't think you're such a fan, but... I'm a grape juice girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> and uh, the last night to have bread for a week. So, Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech alam, amotzi lechem min haaretz. Amen. So come on up, Eric. You can go to this stand here. You want the book moved? That's fine. So good evening, everybody. Temple Shalom family. Most of you know who I am. Thank you, Don and Judy, for leading, conducting, orchestrating, making, you know, Friday night service, you know, a continued destination for all Jews. I appreciate it. We appreciate it. And we appreciate all that you're doing to get this all running and get this uh, technically moving forward. Well, the so, technical you. part is you and Bruce Harrison. I'm just a innocent bystander. Okay. Um, so welcome all. So most of you uh, on the call are familiar with what's going on with Temple Shalom. So uh, the Brotherhood uh, virtual blood drive has been continued past March. Um, we're past the dates due to the inclement weather, although looking outside, you wouldn't think there's any inclement weather. But please uh, go to those four sites that are available on the eBlast. On April 2nd, there's a Scout Shabbat at 730. April 4th, there's the Virtual Judaism 101 at 9.45. You need to RSVP, so appreciate it if you do that. Um, April 4th, there's a Virtual Yisker service at 11 a.m. On April 11th, there's a visit from Rachel Mazes. So if you give me a sec, I'm going to give you a little quick background on her. So um, she has a novel called Other People's Pets. Uh, was a library journal best debut of summer fall 2020 um, and she's the author of a short story collection actually we love Anderson Cooper most people know Anderson Cooper from CNN so her stories have aired on national public radio and could be found in electric liter literature's recommended reading in the small fictions 2020 so that's a little bit down the road but Appreciate it if everybody kind of stops by and, and checks that out. Um, on April 11th is the virtual sisterhood breakfast. And that speaker will be, uh, her name is Karen Coogan, author of Mahjong Guru. I've never played Mahjong. I've heard Mahjong from when my mother played. Um, uh, way, you know, growing up, I heard crack and boom and bam. I never knew what it was, but I know my mother had a great time. So uh, that's Sisterhood Breakfast, Karen, Gu Karen Gouin speaking about Mahjong. Um, hopefully I all made you laugh with that last one. I know it made me smirk. And on the 25th of April, um, there's an actual Zoom, a live Zoom discussion with Natan Sharansky, the legendary Natan Sharansky. I don't need to really get, you know, expound on him. Everybody knows his background. So I thank you all for your support of the Jewish community. Please call me to discuss anything on your mind. Your opinion is extremely valuable to me. 
Um, and so is the identity of Temple Shalom. So please stay in touch. All the best. Happy Pesach to you and your families and Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Don and Judy, for leading a wonderful service as always. And thank you again, Eric. Pleasure. Got to watch all the wires around here. So again, um, Shabbat Shalom. Thank you for showing up. And uh, also, uh, again, an early sweet Pesach, Chag Sameach. We're going to conclude our service on page 625, not with the entire Adon alum, but the last stanza with just Adonai Lee. I think you're familiar with this. Adonai Lee, partner up here, the beautiful Judy. Thank you. Her so voice and her wonderful percussion. Yeah, we can. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat there Shalom. We go. Yeah, okay. We're in the same bubble. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Shabbat Shalom. Chag Pesach.